Welcome to a contemplation of the Pentagrammaton. This recording was produced specifically for the Rosicrucian Tradition website at pansophers.com. It is also part of the Rose Qua Oratory Contemplative Resources for the Rosicrucian Tradition. And I am C.R. Chuck Dunning, Jr., an author, advocate, facilitator, trainer, and consultant in contemplative practice, mentoring, and leadership. These audio recordings are focused on the development of contemplative practice within the context of Rosicrucianism. Persons who are not initiates in that tradition are welcome to make use of these recordings, but may find them referencing ritual experiences, symbols, and concepts without complete explanation. These recordings are provided to help listeners experience various contemplative methods and states of consciousness. It is hoped listeners eventually learn to practice those methods and enter those states without the assistance of recordings. Because this recording is designed to facilitate changes in consciousness, you should not listen to it while operating a motor vehicle or other machinery or performing any other task that requires your attention to maintain safety for yourself or others. To prepare for this contemplative experience of the Pentagrammaton, let's first review the Tetragrammaton, the most sacred divine name of the Judeo-Christian tradition. That name is spelled right to left, yud He vav He. The book of Genesis declares that we are created in the likeness of God. And so in the ancient Jewish Kabbalah, we find the human form aligned with the sephirot or lights on the tree of life, as well as the four letters of the Tetragrammaton. The descending order of the letters reflects the process of emanation in creation, with the fourth letter, a repeated he, suggesting the creative process is ever in continuation, and that the lower is a reflection of the higher, as above, so below. The pentagrammaton is a five-lettered word or name derived from the tetragrammaton. The pentagrammaton is formed by placing the Hebrew letter sheen in the middle, between the first he and the vav. This produces yud he shin vav he. This name can be pronounced in more than one way, but for this meditation, we will use Yeshua. The Pentagrammaton has been revered among Christian esotericists since at least the 15th century of the Common Era. It can be seen just beneath the triangle in this diagram from the 17th century mystic Jakob Burma. It is held to be the esoteric name of Christ and a key to realizing Christ consciousness. The sheen represents the flame of Shekinah, the Holy Spirit, blossoming in the heart of one who is awakening to self as an embodiment of the Logos, the living word and the light and love that is the presence of the divine within each of us. Many Rosicrucians and esoteric Christians assert that this realization is available to earnest aspirants regardless of their religious identity or beliefs about the historical Jesus. Take a moment to carefully observe the shapes and locations of these letters so you can recall them during the contemplation. You are now welcome to participate in this contemplative experience of the Pentagrammaton. If you have not already done so, take a moment to turn off any phones or other things that might disturb your meditation. 
While you do so, consider that the possibility for external distractions almost always remains a part of meditative practice. Try to cultivate an attitude that distractions are simply opportunities to gently and calmly refocus on the meditation, which is good meditative practice in itself. Now, settle into a comfortable position that you can maintain without moving until the contemplative activity has finished. Your spine should be relatively straight, with no twist or strain in your neck or back. Closing your eyes is recommended. However, if you prefer not to close them, then allow your eyes to relax and steadily gaze upon some point directly in front of you. If you wish, this would be a fitting moment to invoke spiritual assistance in whatever way is meaningful to you. Slowly take in a deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a second deep breath, Inhaling all the air you can without straining, and then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining, and then pause, pause, pause. Slowly take in a third deep breath, inhaling all the air you can without straining. And then hold it, hold it, hold it. Now release the breath, exhaling all the air you can without straining. And then pause, pause, pause. Now inhale and let your body breathe in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Attend to the sensation of the Earth's gravity pulling you down. Feel it pulling your feet against the floor. Feel the gravity pulling down in your calves and shins. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your thighs and buttocks, pulling you into your seat. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your hips, belly, and lower back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your rib cage, 
chest and upper back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your shoulders and neck. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Feel the gravity pulling down in your jaw, your tongue, around your mouth, and in your cheeks. Feel the gravity pulling down around your eyes and in your brow. Feel the gravity pulling down in your scalp on the top of your head, around the sides, and down the back. If you notice any unnecessary tension in those muscles, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture, and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Now, feel the gravity pulling down from the top of your head all the way through every part of your body down to the soles of your feet. If you notice any unnecessary tension anywhere, let it go, leaving only what is necessary to keep you sitting in a healthy posture and let the pull of gravity take you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. Turn your attention back to your breath, flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. You simply observe it flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm. Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. You can go into an even deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation by silently marking the breath with the word in as you inhale and out as you exhale. In, out. Just continue observing the breath flowing in and out in its own peaceful, natural rhythm as you continue silently repeating, in, out. 
Feel each breath taking you into a deeper state of calm, peaceful relaxation. You may now stop repeating the words in and out and listen carefully to the following words. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Imagine yourself as that deep, dark void. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Visualize a bright beam of divine light shining down from the heavens into you. Try to see and feel its rays penetrating the top of your head and radiating down through your brain and neck into and through your heart and down through the rest of your body. Take a moment to more fully experience your communion with the light of creation. Either silently or aloud, you will begin to intone each letter in the pentagrammaton with a separate breath. As you do so, experience the white light condensing into each letter in turn, Yud in your head, He in your upper torso, Shin at your heart, Vav in your belly, and He in your lower torso. With each repetition, experience the letter becoming more vivid and energetic. We are about to begin.
In a moment, as you intone the name Yeshua with each breath, try to experience all five letters of the pentagrammaton within your body, but with special focus on the sheen at your heart as you pour out your aspiration to more fully know and express the presence of divine light and love in your being. We are about to begin. Yes,
Allow the letters to fade out as your awareness returns to your physical body. Turn your attention to your breath. Take three slow, deep breaths. Feel the breath flowing through your airway. Feel your chest and belly expanding and contracting. Now breathe naturally as you sit for a while, reflecting on your meditation on the pentagrammaton, recalling what you experienced and what meaning it might have for you. Consider the implications of knowing you are an embodiment of divine light and love. Consider the implications of everyone else also being an embodiment of divine light and love, whether they know it or not. Consider how one might lose psychological and spiritual balance from contemplating such an intimate connection with divine light and love.
consider how one might improve psychological and spiritual balance from contemplating such an intimate connection with divine light and love. Consider how this experience might inspire you to think and act in wiser, more harmonious, healthier, and more loving ways toward others and yourself. Now, begin ending the meditation by attending to the sensations of your body. Feel the gravity pulling you down into your seat and your feet against the floor. Feel the air on your skin, the breath flowing in and out. Hear what you hear. Smell what you smell. Taste what you taste. When you are ready, open your eyes and see what you see. The meditation has ended. Feel free to move and stretch your limbs. Having completed the activity, it is highly recommended that you take a few minutes to reflect on your experience, perhaps even writing down some notes for future reference. Observe your thoughts, emotions, and physical feelings, and how they might differ from before you began the activity. To what extent were you able to relax and follow instructions with full awareness? What was easy about it? What was challenging? What was most meaningful, and why? How might repeated use of this activity with or without the recording be helpful to you? What additional studies or research might be useful? Thank you for participating in this contemplation of the Pentagrammaton. Once again, my name is Chuck Dunning. If you want to learn more about the Rosicrucian tradition, then please visit pansophers.com. For more recordings like this one, you are welcome to visit the Rosequa Oratory playlist at the Contemplative Builder YouTube channel. Until next time, life, light, and love to you.